Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So I'm here in beautiful West Bay. I am uh, staying at our friend's house as Gabby is back. She's um, in quarantine, unfortunately. Now seven days, originally it was five, but they made it seven days for this new transmission, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm staying at our friend's place. Shout out to Efner and Norma. Thank you for allowing me to stay at your place. Very kind, much appreciated. And so I'm just gonna go for a little walk and um, explore a little bit of West Bay. Where we are right now. It is a Sunday, so generally the roads are a little bit quieter because um, you know it's church day, people generally stay at home, go to the beach, so I won't anticipate too much traffic, but I can go for a little walk and show you a little bit of West Bay. West Bay and Grand Cayman. One of the one of the districts we have here. It's a nice district to live in. Let's go. So we're on the main road. Some traffic here. We're going to go this way. Nice houses here. I like this one right here. It's like a turquoise building. So you can see um, across the street they have a couple shops, but a lot of them are closed. But it is a Sunday, so people generally, um, a lot of those shops are closed on Sundays. Exhibit A right in front. Over here by this little convenience store, which is open, Vinti's Grocery. Some cars in the back. So right across the road, we have the Department of Vehicle and Driver Licensing, the West Bay location. And it's obviously closed because that's a government um, office. And Sunday, it's closed. Across the street, we got one place open that Saviors Express. And now we're just on the corner. So, for folks who know West Bay. Rev Blackman and West Church Street. That's where I am right now. And here is the West Bay Police Station. But as you can see, it says temporary relocation. West Bay Police Station temporary located to Governor Square off West Bay Road. I guess they sustained some damage. So right now it is closed. Walk this way, maybe. See some cows in the distance. And a lovely church. But yeah, West Bay is a nice area. I honestly haven't spent too much time here since I've been on the island, but it's uh, very nice, pretty rural. Our friends used to live um, in West Bay by the beach, which was a lovely spot. But it's a nice, nice location. So you got some cows over here. Not sure if you can see them. They're all in the shady area, I don't blame them. A lot of cows. I see some chickens too, and the calf. Moo! Hmm. And there's a church over there as well. West Bay too holds the old um, commanding communities. I would think you'd find more commandians in West Bay than Seven Mile Beach area in Georgetown. But very nice place though. 
Maybe we'll move here. Find the streets are very narrow, so you gotta you gotta be careful, especially on this street. It's very narrow. So if you're walking, always just have a an eye out. But yeah, beautiful day guys. Sun is shining here in West Bay, but it could be raining somewhere else in the island, like in Bordentown or East End or even Georgetown. That happens quite often. Nice little garden. See some breadfruit. So yeah, the streets are very narrow, so you gotta be careful. Always have an eye out. But yeah, West Bay, very nice location. It's, uh, no, I haven't, as I said before, I haven't spent too much of my time here. It's always good to walk around and see the neighborhood and see what's up. But yeah, pretty quiet in general compared to, I guess, Georgetown, Seven Mile area. You can see all this water here. When it rains heavily, you know, the uh, some some area is flood. And um, this island isn't well equipped with like um, drainage, especially in town and Seven Mile Beach. So like, if it rains a lot, you get these like big masses of water. Whew. It's about 10.30 and it's super hot, very hot, but you know, a nice day overall. Sun is shining. Very quiet. Quiet afternoon or morning, sorry. Got some cars in the road. But as I said before, Sunday is church day. Also people go to brunch and you know have a good time one thing i notice you know on the island is um the garbage situation like over here you know the garbage pickup isn't i wouldn't say as consistent they probably need to invest more money in proper disposal because i've always noticed that on this island is um the lack the lack of collection and the proper disposal. It's a beautiful yard. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is. A beautiful yard. I think I want to walk maybe to the shore. Hey, who's that guy? <laughs> Yeah, I love the, love the yards here. Nice community. Although someone, um, I saw on the news that somebody passed away in a motorcycle incident over the weekend, I think on Friday, in the early morning, which is very sad. A young gentleman passed away. So, always hate to see that. <sighs> Yeah, welcome to the wild in Keeneland. Got some bush here. Oh yeah, this street's very narrow. Nice. Back of yard. Whoop, something's going fast. Fast and furious in the Keeneland Islands. Oh, nice to be in the shade for a moment. These guys working hard, no day off for them. Construction is pretty rampant on this island, so no day off for them. Guys working hard in the sun. 
commercial spaces available. Not sure, there's like a salon. Okay, I know where I am. We're almost to the water, so let's go to the water and then uh, I will turn around. But I'm I'm assuming it's a I'm assuming it's a beautiful day on the beach, so let me show you West Bay Public Beach quickly and then I'll turn around because I am dripping. Ugh. Sorry, I felt something stinging me. Seems like a breadfruit tree, but no fruit. No. Ma manzana, ma mazapan, mazapan. Breadfruit is a staple in the Latin American, Caribbean, islands and countries. I love it. It's like a potato, Caribbean potato. <laughs> Very good. So this is the, looks like the shelter, the hurricane shelter for here. Very nice. And we're close to the beach. So I'm coming up on this four-way stop. I think a lot of folks who are familiar with Cayman or live here recognize this location. You got Subway, Centennial Towers, a lot of businesses. Convenience store on your right. The liquor store, the Tortuga, straight ahead. Gas station, soon to be closed. Let's try and cross the street. Straight ahead. Maybe I should have brought my swimming trunks because I have a feeling the water is going to look nice. Whew. So, Boggy Sand Road. Here we are. Okay, wow. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> oh, it looks like the. Looks like you can actually reach the beach. I guess some sand did come back a little bit. Oh, there we go. Only well, maybe a couple feet. Oh, wow. Look at today. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So as you can see, it's an absolute stunner of a day. It's super nice. I, w I just wish that um, there was more beach here. As you can see, well, there some sand got pushed up from the waves, I guess. But look at this! Like there used to be. I remember you could like the sand was close to here. Good little Mr. Crab. Wait, we didn't. Yeah, so they lost a lot of sand here from this uh, seawall. It's the focal point of um, continuing theories of the beach erosion. If these walls are to blame, which I think somewhat, but maybe it's um, global warming. Who really knows? But yeah, it's just a beautiful day, guys. I feel I was able to come here. Not too bad of a walk from where I'm staying right now. Stunner of the day. Should have brought my shorts, man. This water's too nice. There's this tree that somehow got here. A massive branch, limb. I just gonna get over uh, the beautiful day. Look at the water over here. It's like turquoise, super nice. And not very many people here right now. Quiet Sunday morning, that's for sure. So I'm just about to uh, leave. Just want to show you uh, 
the results of the border closure you know a lot of small businesses have had to shut their shut their doors and you know i think this one is a good example heritage kitchen i'm not sure if it's still operational but you know nothing's been open for a while unfortunately this continue continuation of the border closing is unfortunate and uh, man even Gabby had to, uh, <clears throat> they added two days of quarantine for people, so frustrating to say the least. Maybe one more little view here um, in Boggy Sands and West Bay. West Bay Public Beach is this area over there, but we're heading back. So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm just going to walk back now. Beautiful day though, West Bay. Hope you enjoyed uh, this little West Bay adventure, exploration. Nice area in Cayman. Always nice to uh, walk an unfamiliar path and explore different areas. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Mr. Cayman signing off for now. Gabby gives her best. You're watching, babe, I love you. All right guys, take care.